Personally, I would say using mnemonics is one of the major learning hacks that got me through med school. There is a whole lot to know and you certainly won't remember all word for word. But with mnemonics, recollecting those things you've read can be made really easier. The major problem now is how you can compose a mnemonic you can readily remember. What if I tell you with ChatGPT, you can create your own AI-derived mnemonics in a matter of seconds and integrate them into your personal study. Let me teach you how. Mnemonics has always been known to help medical students because there is a whole lot to know and you most time won't remember everything word for word. But the good thing is ChatGPT has made that a bit better. So we are going to create mnemonics with ChatGPT. Quickly, let's check out our browser and um, okay, let me say the taza bones of the foot. Okay, we want to create a mnemonic on the different taza bones, the seven taza bones of the foot. Let me ask ChatGPT first, what are the seven taza bones? And then once we get the answer, we'll be able to create mnemonics on them. Okay, so ChatGPT is providing us the seven taza bones and um, it's going to list it. All right. Uh, no explanation, just list. Okay, just list the taza bones. You know, sometimes ChatGPT talks a lot. <laughs> All right, so these are the seven taza bones. And then uh, I want you to create a mnemonic to remember the above bones. So uh, let's see what it comes up with. Even if it might not be entirely accurate, but it's better than nothing, right? But let's check it out. Okay, tomcats never make interesting lovers. <laughs> eh, okay, good boy, no specific word. It's the last one on the list. Can you do better? I want a mnemonic for the entire list give another mnemonic because the, i talk to it like a human being maybe i'm not satisfied with what is sent first but let's see if it can do better all right so tenku ninjas made it look legendary can you see this is better 10 standing for talos cool standing for calcaneus ninja standing for navicula so there is there is no limit to what you can explore. It gave us the first mnemonic, right? I was not satisfied with it. And then I requested for another one. Even if I'm not satisfied with this, I can still request for another one. And that was how it keeps getting better. If you're not satisfied with one, request for another. This is just a typical example of how to compose mnemonics with ChatGPT. It could be another cause. It could be physiology. It could be pharmacology. Anything. You know all those drugs in pharmacology? Oh my, they ache person head. But then you can use ChatGPT to maybe remember some of them you can just copy and paste maybe from your slide these are the list of drugs that are anxiolytics i want you to create a mnemonic on remembering them boom chat comes up with an answer so this is one of many ways chat can be helpful to you as a medical student in our next video we'll dive into creating true or false questions with chat gpt also filling the blank questions and even diagnosis of clinical cases is one you don't want to miss if you found this helpful, kindly hit the like button and of course subscribe so you don't miss out on our subsequent amazing content. Thank you.